Welcome, collectors. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of Diecast Emporium. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Diecast Masters Core Classic Series Caterpillar 924G Versalink Wheel Loader. The item number, as you can see on your screen, is 85057. It is part of the Core Classic Series, so it comes in that very distinct and brown style clear window packaging where you can very easily and clearly identify the model inside. Here is your scale. There is the Diecast Masters logo once again, and there is the item number. That's all the information you need. On the back, there is a picture of the wheel loader at work, and here are all of your specification details. Again, if you would like to pause the video at this point and check those out, please feel free to do so. All right, let's go ahead and unbox this thing and take a look at it. While I'm doing that, I'd just like to preface this review by saying this has been in the cat scale model lineup for the better part of 20 years now, and there is a very good reason for that. If you've ever heard the old adage, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, that completely applies here. And you'll see that in just a moment. So also inside the box, you have an instructional sheet which tells you how to attach the implements to the wheel loader, which is pretty straightforward, but it's nice that they include that anyway. So here you go. You have the bucket and a set of pallet forks and also hidden back here, so we'll do it this way, hidden back here is your tool carrier. So your material handling arm is also included. All right, let's go ahead and get this thing out of the packaging. And take out the attachments as well. There you go. All right, so as I mentioned, if it's not broke, don't fix it. So this came out about, the original of this came out in about 2000 by Norscott, uh, which was one of the predecessors to Diecast Masters, and it was a phenomenal model back then, and it was extremely popular among collectors, and it's just one of those gotta-have models. It does everything great. Everything that you need to do, it just does it just the way you need it to. But this improved version has a light up on top of the cab right here. It has our friendly neighborhood operator, Bob, inside of the cab. Now, this has your late 90s, early 2000s style cat paint and decals. So that's why you get the 924G. So it is error correct in that essence. Also up here, you have an exhaust and your air tank. Alongside, you have some hand and grab rails on the left-hand side of the machine, as well as some grab rails on either side of the cab. So let's go ahead and move on to the functionality of this. So this is not a very large wheel loader at all. So it goes up to about that high, which, allow me just a minute, we bring in a CT660 dump truck here. It is high enough to get over the side. And there's your dump angle, which as you can see is spectacular. All the material that is in that bucket is emptying out into that truck without a problem. There's no modeling compromises. There's no issues. And again, this was originally made back in the year 2000. So everything functions great. No problems there. It's tall enough to get over the side of an American-style dump truck, specifically the CT660 by Diecast Masters. Your range of articulation is also very good. You have a very good uh, tread pattern on your tires, rubber tread pattern. And also, there is some rear axle oscillation, as there should be. Slipping out implements is easy just like that so i don't know how well you can see this hopefully this is good enough the top hooks over on the quick coupler and then the bottom just snaps in the quick coupler right here this is a sturdy plastic component so you'll be able to change out implements all day long without worrying 
about them snapping off or breaking or ruining the quick coupler or anything. So here is the material handling arm, which extends in three sections, just like that. There's also a small hole at the end of it. So if you want to run a chain or some sort of loop to carry something through it, that option is provided for you. This is a composite of plastic and metal, mostly metal for that one. And then here we also have the pallet forks, which I will put on the loader here momentarily. And again, very, very simple. Put it over the top, make sure it's lined up, and then snap back in the bottom, and you are good to go. That simple. So let's see how it looks on a low boy. So here's our Diecast Masters International low boy. There we go. Allow the camera to focus for just a moment. And as you can see, the 924 has absolutely no problem fitting on this large low boy setup. So there you have it, collectors. That is a quick review of the Diecast Masters Caterpillar 924G VersaLink wheel loader. It was a phenomenal model back then. It's just as good now, today, almost 20 years later, or technically a little over 20 years later. And if you are a fan of cat equipment and or scale models, and you don't have one of these in your collection, uh, I don't know what else I need to say. Um, I don't generally like to be pushy. Uh, I just like to present the facts and then help you make up your own mind. But this is one where you absolutely, without question, need to have in your collection. It is priced affordably, being that, is, that it is a core classic series model. Uh, it has that late 90s, early 2000s era about it. And it just does everything you'd want it to do. It just performs flawlessly. So there you have it. I'm Tommy with Diecast Emporium. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you in the next video.